So folks, you've seen the area that we want to put our bench in, and you know what? This, seriously, is the easiest bench that you're ever going to make. You better pay attention now and follow us step by step because you're going to be able to keep these molds and use them over and over again. Starting off with the two legs. Most importantly, all you need is two pieces of polystyrene. So we first got to mark off the straight edge 150 up. And 150, right. Straight edge along. How are you there? Yeah. Lovely. And then we'll create another straight line on the side. Okay, same 150 thing. 150 again. Right. Okay. Great stuff. Next step is now to form the outline of our two legs. And remember these legs are just going to be straight legs, dead simple, and these are the measurements. Remember, the ultimate height of the bench that you're going to see of the leg is going to be 400. So that's that mark there, Garth. Yeah. Right, let's do this end here. Same on this side. Mark it off, 550. And then we put our straight edge across, or our spirit level, and straight across. Okay, just to recap, so that you're staying with us, the edges of our polystyrene, it's 150. 150, 150. Got the measurement through those lines. The height from here to there that we've measured is 550. 550 on this side. 550 on that side. Right. Now, now from, we're doing the width. Yeah. From now, from, from this corner to here, we want 355. Right. 355. And then we go, yeah, 355. And we need two legs. So we're doing that and on that side. From this side, yeah. Right. Good job, Garth. And all we do now is pop that out. Lovely. These two we don't need, so they can just go on the side here. And this is going to be the framework for the mold of our legs. Now we've got to make the seat. So let's put this this side. Right, for the seat, we're going to be doing the same thing to create our edge. So let's get 150 off the edge here as our first point. Do the same off the bottom edge. So we've got a height here of 400. That is going to be the width of our seat and our length. We're going to go across. Yep. You good there? Yep. Right. We're good to go. All we do now is cut it out, and this is going to be our seat. Radio folks, so we've got our moulds ready now. This is going to be the seat, and these are the two legs. All we've got to do now is just prep a bit of reinforcing, because this is a long length, just to make sure that it's going to be ultra sturdy. We've got some 8-gauge wire here. That's the thickness. We're going to put that one, two, three, making sure that you've got enough of a gap across either side, because you don't want the wire sticking out. And then across, that's the one, and there. And then we've got a bit of tacking wire, much thinner, able to work with. Pop it on here, and you're literally just going to tie it together because that just helps keep it in place. All right, Garth, you happy on your side? Yes, I'm all right, you Okay, all our prep is done. All we've got to do now is go and get our concrete mixture ready. The mixture for putting this together is probably as easy as making the moulds. And it goes like this. Our ratio is one. We've got half a bucket of river sand, half a bucket of PPC cement, and half a bucket of small 13 millimetre stone. Garth, let's check this baby. Lovely, thank you. Ooh, nice and runny. Yes, what we're looking. Yeah, it's going to get into that mold, into the reinforcing. Yes. Okay, let's go into the bucket, and away we go. 
Yabba! Alrighty, first up, we need to remove our reinforcing. Just like that, let's put it over there. Right, let's throw a bit of our concrete mixture in. That's the one, Garth. There we go. Smooth it out. You're basically wanting to get it about two centimeters thick. Just form a basic lining. That should do the job. Remember, this is not going all the way to the top. It's not coming up here. It should be only about halfway up our mold. Take our reinforcing and pop that back in here. There we go. And then we just carry on putting in our mixture. Go for it, Goss. There we go. Lovely stuff. Mmm, lovely. Oh. Right, folks, we just smooth it all off. All you want to do just before you finish off, take the rubber mallet, give it a few bangs, make sure you get out all the air pockets, especially on the edges, to stop that circling. That's what we want. A couple on the side here. All you got to do now is add your concrete into the two legs. Bob's your uncle. Easy as that. Couple of bangs with this. There we go. Once again, both areas, leave it to dry for two days and we'll show you what it looks like in a minute or two. Right folks, so this is the framework of a bench that we threw two days ago. So grab it on either side, give it a bit of a shake. Okay, and off we go. That's the one. And you can see that already it comes loose nice and easily. And there, in fact, this way, hold your one up there, Garth. It's our beautiful legs for our potential bench. Let's take the other side off, Garth. Harry, you can't, you can't this is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And here's the top, and let's turn it over to show the folks what the beautiful look is going to be. Aha, that's what we like and that's why we use shutterboard over and over again, folks. Because you see, there, it actually gives us that texture and that almost wood-like texture, which is what we like. Our bench is 900 long, that's the seat. Okay. For our derriers. Right. So, ultimately, we'd like to leave a bit of a gap on either side for our legs to go in. Now, because this is inside a garden, we don't have to concrete them in. Ain't nobody going to steal this bench. So we're literally going to be stamping them in. So let's get a measurement over here. I think we make it 700. 700, so we've got 100 on either side. 100 inside. So there's a nice overhang. Don't put the legs right at the end of the bench because then it just looks like a stompy squash thing. Folks, what's most important when you are digging these holes is that they are parallel with each other. All right, we place it in the middle of the hole. The first one is not critical in terms of your spacing. If you had measured correctly and you dug correctly according to your spacing, the middle of the hole should be just perfect. At this point we want the spirit level because we need to make sure that this is level because all your groundwork, if it's not level, well, then you're going to have a problem. Let's just put some soil underneath here. Have a look. Alright, to make sure that it's nice and level, just take that off, give it a bit of a tap secures it well into the ground below. Let's take a look there, Garth. Oh, I'm happy. Perfect. Right, we need to do the sides as well. Lovely. Okay, use your rubber mallet again, and you're just going to pound it in here. Are we level, Garth? Yes. How are we doing? Perfect. Oh, spot on, beautiful. Excellent. Right, first leg is in. Let's move across to the second one. Don't just put it in. You want to make sure that your distance is correct. Get that tape measure there again, Garth. Let's check this baby. Spot on, Garth. Yep, that's fine. Last check to see nothing's moved across the top again. Love it I'm in a plan. Comes together. Right, legs are in, secure, not going to move. 
It's now time to play in the garden. And the final bit is to put our seat on our bench. Oh, golf, come test it out. Oh, oh this is nice. After all the hard work, the planting, the making the bench, getting our soil sorted, and finally, this is the reward. And I guess this is what gardening's all about. All about, Tanya. Love it. It's the time when you can sit back and relax and enjoy the labours and, and all your hard work in that special quiet place. Mm -hmm.